What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald Walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through quite a few things here in Duford. We, uh, what was it called? Uh, we started off with the gym, and then next thing you know, we went into the Granite Cave and took care of business right there, delivered a letter, and, uh, well, let's see, what else do we have to do? Well, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So now it is time for us to go to Slayport City, and, uh... Well, let's go ahead and go with Mr. Brian right here. Let's go to Slayport. Yes. So, originally, I was thinking of doing something of a trade before we went on to Slayport City, but I kind of realized something right here. I, I really, really, really wanted to go through Slayport and Mauville before we do any kind of trade because we, we have a lot of stuff to cover, and I think the Pokemon we have right now will do. I do have uh, quite a few things that, you know, a few plans for what happens later on after we earn our third badge. So, here we are with Mr. Brian. He's like, Ahoy! We've made it land, or we've made land in Slayport. I suppose you're going to visit Captain Stern and deliver the Devon goods, right? Yes. Okay, so, let's go ahead and, uh, well, let's go ahead and start battling some people. I think I'm good with what I have right now. And here we go. I've laid anchor in, all, in ports around the world, the Slayport's best. Okay, bring it. And here we are taking on Sailor Huey, and we're going to be speeding this up, of course. He's going to have himself a Wingle, and he's going to be coming with a Machop, so I'm going to go with my Wingle right here. Let's go with the Wing Attack, and bam, we have defeated another in individual right here. So, let's see, you can have this. We got ourselves a Soft Sand, which can help us with, uh, yeah, can help us with Ground-type Pokemon right here. And yes, I do want a Double Battle. And, oh wow, we got like, no, we could do a triple battle if we wanted to, but they didn't introduce that until Generation 5 and all that crud. So, here we go, taking on Sailor Edmund and Tuber Haley, and they're going to be coming out with some pretty typical Pokemon, so let's go right ahead and do our thing. Right here, quick attack to this guy, and uh, wing attack to that guy, look at that, we are kicking some butt, we are mighty, and bam. Yeah, that, that barrel... That male doesn't want to get defeated, and well, we defeated him, and he's like, ugh, ugh. I thought so, I didn't think, I, I didn't think I, we would win. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and there is another individual right here. I'm thirsty! I should go to the soda pop, or I should get, go for a soda pop at the seashore's house. Seashore house, can't even say it right. And, well, here we go, take it on Tuber Ricky, coming with a zigzagoon. Let's go with Sage and speed this up right here. Quick attack yet again, and bam. Alrighty, alright. Okay, so that is. Well, yeah, that is another person defeated, and Tuber Ricky will indeed give us his phone number right here. Now, let's see. Is there. Yes. An item right there is too good to be true. And, uh, well, what we're going to be doing right here is taking an item from Zigzagoon, get, get ourselves another Ultra Ball right here to help us out, and. Let's go right ahead and switch to X Boom. It needs a little loving after, you know, quite a few, quite a few uh, battles right here. Doesn't a beach umbrella look like a giant flower? It does. Ta-da! See my inner tube around. Okay, here we go. Taking on the uh, what was it? Tubers, Lola, and Chandler. So speed it up yet again. And yes, I notice I should probably do that, and we should cause an uproar, which does hit everybody and there we go and wow we, we're both poisoned right here this is getting annoying so let's go with an uproar and there we go look at that okay so bullet seed again I really do hate tentacles and sage grows to level 20 and uh, well let's go right ahead and defeat this guy quickly there we go and we have defeated both tubers with both our Pokemon poison and all that crud oh my god okay and, well, of course, we're going to get another phone number right here from Lola, so that's awesome. And grab this. We found ourselves a potion. And what is next? Okay, so let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon. Thankfully, we do have, we do have, uh, what was it called? Uh, two po or two antidotes right here. And give them to that one. And you know what? Let's go right ahead and do that. Yeah, let's continue with the healing. Yes, always be prepared, guys, for the healing. And, yes, I'm just trying to waste up my potions right here because eventually we won't be needing these guys anymore. 
And let's see, what is next? Oh yes, let's talk to this guy right here. The water around these parts is clean, but I get my zigzagging to pick up litter from this shoreline at times. Dirty water becomes rain and joins rivers which we drink from. If we pollute the sea, it all be uh, it all comes back to haunt us eventually. I thought he was gonna give us something, and well, yeah, I, I seriously thought we were gonna get something. And uh, we get a phone number or phone call, and well, it's Roxanne, and she's like, "Oh, hello, Draven. This is Roxanne of the Rustboro City Gym. I heard from Brawly that you're moving up through the ranks of trainers in a, at an incredible clip. Well, I'd rather not. I'd rather not think that that can't beat you. I promise." I will shape, or I will shape up my gym so that you may challenge us net again. I hope you'll be, uh, or hope you'll be looking forward to uh, that occasion as uh, much as me. Probably. And well, there we go. We get another phone call, phone number. And well, talk to this person. It's just like, uh, yo, trainers. Whether you're hot to trot or cool cat not, chill at my papa's spot. That is uh, some pretty good rhyming right there. Okay, so here we are in the, well, the surfer's house, or whatever it's called. The Seashore House, and I am the owner of the Seashore House, but you can call me Mr. C. What I love of, above all is the Sea Hot Pokemon Battles, or the Sea All Hot Pokemon Battles. Let me see what your heart burns hot. If you can defeat all my trainers here, I will reward you your efforts. And, of course, we're gonna be speeding it up, because we need to. Okay, so, let's go right ahead. Let's get this person right here. Here we are, taking on... Sailor Dwayne The Rock Johnson, and well, let's go right ahead and speed it up. Quick attacks right here. Let's give uh, X Boom a little love with an uproar. And of course, we got poisoned yet again. And we learned how. And we got to get away from that Machop, so let's go with Sea Blade right here. And speed it up. Wing attack for the win. And Sea Blade grows to level 19. So Dwayne The Rock Johnson has been defeated. Just like at WrestleMania 15 and 17. Now, I do have a poison Pokemon right here, so I think a berry could help us. Let's see. Paralysis awakens poisoning. Okay, so... Yeah, we can, uh... We can use this one. Now, here's the thing right here. You can actually check the tag, and it will show what size this, uh, the berry will be, how firm it is. It's very soft. And, of course, what kind of a flavor does it have, like spicy, dry, sweet, bitter, or sour. Very sweet and delicious, uh, delicious. also very tender. Handle, handle with care. Can't speak right now, so let's go right ahead and give... Let's use this on, uh, you know, on X-Boom. And, well, we might have to plant some more berries right here. I don't know. Alrighty, bring it on. Stop looking away from me. Here we go. Trying to get this girl's attention. Boring, batter, uh, boring battles aren't worth the effort. Fiery hot battles are what toughen up trainers at Pokemon. Okay, so here we go, taking on mm, Beauty Joanna, and she is coming out with her Golding, so let's go right ahead and speed it up. Bullet Seed for the win. That's a very easy victory right there. Okay, so we got one more trainer right here. Let's go ahead and battle this little kid, this little kid right here. I'm going to show you how great my Pokemon are, but don't cry. <laughs> I'm going to laugh if this Pokemon trainer cries. So, let's go. Tuber Simon wants the battle, coming out with some water type Pokemon. And I don't think Azuro is an actual water type Pokemon just yet. And, well, there we go. This kid's like, I will cry. <laughs> Anywho, so we've defeated every trainer here, and now we can talk to this guy. He's like, You're scorching hot. Those battles blazed. I'm more than just satisfied. As a thanks uh, for showing me your hot streak, I want you to take these. It's half a dozen bottles of Sodi Pop. And there you go. Bam. Sodi Pops are good. Sodi Pops are great. And that will actually heal up our Pokemon for 60 points right there. Okay, so here we are in Slateport City. And one of the biggest things you guys can check up on is... The, there is a uh, there well there is a small mart area right here where you can actually buy some uh, pretty cool items right here. If you talk to this guy, how may I serve you? This guy will actually uh, sell uh, sell you some uh, Poke dolls right here, which you can actually put in your in your uh, your base. And let's see. Now let's go straight up to the next area right here. Talk to this lady. She's gonna check up on your Pokemon. Be like, oh, you're Grovile. 
You have to go for it a little war harder. If you do, I'll give you your Pokemon something nice, which, you know, will be a ribbon because ribbons are big right here. Talk to this guy. He is the energy guru, and he will be selling, you know, vitamins, minerals, and all that crud. Yes, that is, uh, yeah, that is pretty much it. Now, if you talk to this guy right here... Oh, look at this! The seaweed you can get around these parts is fresh and full of life! Why, it looks like it can even t uh, rear up a an attack! Really? And, well, let's see, shopping is where you can breathe the scent of the ocean, which I would, uh, I would, I would imagine in all that crud. Anywho, let's go right ahead and talk to this guy. Do you know about the TM's uh, secret power? Our group, uh, we love the TM's secret power. One of our members will give it to you. Come back and show me once you get it. We'll accept you as a member and sell you good stuff in the uh, in the scene or in se secrecy, I think. Yeah, secrecy. Yes, we will be getting the secret power later on. Talk to this individual. If a wild Pokemon gets hurt, it heals itself by chewing berries. Did you know that? Somebody saw that you got an idea of making a medicine from berries. Did you know that? To turn berries into medicine, they must be crushed into powder. Did you know that? You seem to have an interest uh, in the berries. I've, I've got something good for someone like you. And here we have a powder jar. What now? Okay, powder jar right there. And, well, we can actually make uh, some berry powders and, well, yeah, I'm not going to read the dialogue right here. Could you make berry powder for me uh, by using machines? If you can, all sorts of medicine and bring me lots of pi berry powder, which I kind of will, I guess. I don't know. Anywho. Here we are, guys, Slateport City. There's quite a few things you can actually find right here, which uh, I will, well, actually, I'll be splitting up into two episodes. One being the current events right now, because look at that, there's a lot of Team Aqua members right here. But something that you can find right here, guys, is the Pokemon Fan Club. And just like in Kanto, you can talk to the president right here, and he's going to be like, hmm, I am the chairman of the fan club. Being a chairman, I am naturally the most important. No one can best me when it comes to raising Pokemon. No one! Well, let me tell you about Pokemon contests. They're events where one can show off Pokemon from the world to see. However, they're held in far off or far off towns, so I cannot participate often enough. That is why we gather here to show off our Pokemon and, uh, and have others show us theirs. Hmm, okay, I actually thought we were going to get some items right here. And uh, this person does not give me... Oh yeah, she's going to give me something. And look at that, your Pokemon really adores you. And here we have a Soothe Bell, which actually helps us with, you know, friendship of a Pokemon and all that crud. Yes. Now, a difference here in Pokemon Emerald from Ruby and Sapphire is that you got yourself the Battle Tent right here. Look at that, Battle Tent. Normally, in Slayport, you will be finding the Pokemon Contest right here in this location, but I guess, uh... I guess it's a little different with, uh... I guess they wanted to try something different right here for Pokemon uh, Emerald, you know, test your abilities and all that stuff. And, well, here is the location of the Name Raider, if you guys want to switch up nicknames and all that crud. And, well, let's see. What else? What else? Oh, yes, we have to go in inside right here to go find Captain Stern. And, uh, well, just talk to this individual, and he's gonna be like, hmm, if this goes here, and that goes over there, then where does this thing go? And what about this doohickey? Ugh. I can't make heads or tails of this. Hmm. Hi, I'm Doc. Captain Stern commissioned me to design a fairy. Oh, that there. Are they Devon Goods? But, hmm. This won't do. Captain Stern went off somewhere. He said he had some work to do. Could I get you to find Captain Stern and deliver that for him? Sure, why not? So, after talking to this individual, we're going to be stepping out outside. And. Well, let's go right ahead and see where... Okay, so where are the Team Aqua members? Nowhere to be found. And when I was a child, I visited the museum often. I used to dream about mysteries of the sea after seeing the exhibits. True, true, true that. Okay, so... Let's see. You know what? We're going to go with X-Boom right here. Give it a little bit of a heal. And... Let's see. What else? What else can we do here? Yes. No, not a Pokeball. Let's go straight for a potion, and give that to X-Boom, and just like that. Okay. So, here we have the, the Oceanic Museum, and of course, 50 Poke Dollars. Yeah. There are a lot of Team Aqua members around here. Now, if you talk to this one, he's going to look at you, he's like, Hey! What are you doing here? Me? I'm the Team Aqua member you thumped before, remember? Back in Rust Tunnel? 
Here, take this. You have to forgive me. And, well, look at that. We got ourselves a TM-46. Very nice. That TM, it suits you more than it does me. Hope I may, hope I never see you again. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. So, what are these guys doing here? I want to know what's going on. And you know what? We're going to be going upstairs. And look at that. Captain Stern. Now, before we do anything, let's see this. Submarine Explorer 1. A replica of the high-performance ocean floor exploration submarine. What is this? Submarine... Uh, submersible pod. A replica of a compact unmanned pod for seafloor exploration. Okay, and this right here is the SS title. A scale replica of the ship under construction at Captain Stern's... Okay. That should be foretelling and all that stuff. And this right here, what is this? The SSN. A replica of the luxury liner that circles around the globe. <laughs> you don't say. All right. Yes? If you're looking for Stern, that would be me. Ah, this, those must be the parts I ordered from uh, Mr. Stone at Devon. Thank you. That's great. We can prepare our expedition now. And the music has started. <laughs> Hold it. We'll take those parts. Captain Stern, it was like, wh wh what? Who are you people? We're Team Aqua. Our boss wants those parts. Shut your yap if and fork them over. That's a lot of yap and fork. Okay. Alrighty, so here we go, taking on a Team Rocket, or not Team Rocket, but a Team Aqua member right here, and he's going to be coming out with a Carvana. This Pokemon right here is a little bit of, of, a, of a special interest, because it does have the rough, uh, the rough scale ability, and if you physically hit this Pokemon, it will mess you up, and I mean, it will leave you a little bit of a scratch here and there, and... I guess we're both powering up right here. So here comes a Carvana's uh, rage attack. Hits us pretty hard, but here comes an uproar for the win. And bam. Just like that, we get some more points. Team Aqua Grunt is like, <laughs> a kid beat me. Yes, I did. A kid has defeated you. Oh man, what a disaster. The boss is going to be furious. Hm, sniveling wimp. Let me take care of this. Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay. Sniveling Wimp, that right there is a, a team, uh, a team of fairy, and well, he's gonna be coming out with a Zubat. So let's go right ahead and take on the Zubat right here, going with the uproar, and well, here comes a Leech Life attack. That is not going to work right there. That is not good. And well, here we go. Uproar does its thing, and we're causing an uproar, and you know it's gonna power up just a little bit. But I'm wondering about this Leech Life right here. And that takes a little bit, but here comes a lot with an uproar attack. So far, X Boom's uh, most strongest attack right now, and we nearly grow to level 16. Let's go to Sage of the Halo right here. And what do you got? Let's go. Sage, how's it going? It's been a while. Let's go with something that is not physical and go with a bullet seed attack right here. There we go. Oh my god. Oh my god. There we go, Carvana. Defeated. Okay. And there you go. We grow to level 21, and well, we have defeated Carvana and Team uh, Aqua Grunt, and well, he is not happy, and well, they're both not happy. They're like, now what? If you don't get the parts, we're in for it. Ugh. I didn't count on being meddled with, with some, uh, some middling kid. Uh oh. This guy's not happy. This guy with all them chest hairs, he's like, I came to see what was uh, what was the talking so or what was talking or what was taking so long to snatch some parts, and you simps are held up by some mere child. We're Team Aqua, and we love to see it. I am Team Aqua leader Archie. What makes you interfere with us? No, you can't be. You're not one of Team Magma. Wait, that can't be right. You're not dressed for the part. Hmm. Pokemon people. All life depends on the sea. So, Team Aqua is dedicated to the expansion of the sea. Don't you agree? What we are doing is a magnificent undertaking. Ah, fine. You're still too young to understand our noble objective. But I warn you, don't even consider interfering with our plans again. The, consequ the consequences will cost you dearly. And don't you forget it. Oh, crap, Peskets. That sounds bad. That, that, that's very, very bad. Okay, so... After saving Captain Stern, he's going to be like, you're, uh, 
Okay, you're Draven. Anyway, that was an intense or that was a tense situation. Thank you for saving us. Ah, yes. I almost forgot that you even brought the, the parts for the Devon. And look at that. We get ourselves the Devon goods. And Captain Stern's gonna be like, whoops. There's no time to cl to lose. We have to set out on our, our ocean uh, floor expedition really soon. Thanks again, but now I've got to go. Feel free to wander around and check out our facilities, though. Okay, and we get healed up. Look at that. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. And, well, let's see. I think that's pretty much it right there, guys. And, uh, well, let's see. What else do we have to do? I think we've already checked out everything. I think the next thing that we need to do now is, uh, oh, this guy right here. Huh. I'm sure I've met you somewhere before. I've introduced myself to you. If not, my name is Scott. I just saw Timonka run away from me uh, here like they were uh, stung by, or they were stung. Let me guess, you drove them away. Probably. Hmm. Maybe, just maybe this trainer. All right, I think you're going to become a good friend. So let me register, or let's register each other in our Pokenavs. Okay, this comes from a guy that just really, really, like, gave me crap at the very beginning. Okay, Scott. What I'd like to do is tag along with you, but I want to keep an eye out on the talents of other people, too. So I'll be off to roam other talents a bit more. Be seeing you, or be seeing you, Draven. Okay, well, alrighty. <laughs> Anywho, that is pretty much it right there, guys. In the next episode, I want to show you something new, and that is we're going to be going into the battle tent. I want to show you some, uh, a little something different, what the battle tent can offer. I don't know, I'm kind of being a little convinced that maybe we should try something new for Pokemon Emerald for you guys, I don't know. But other than that, guys, yes, we are going to be going into the next episode. Thank you guys again for being patient, for staying patient and all that stuff. If you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, there is a heart button right there. Comment, you know, do that stuff if you guys so wish. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. See you guys.